Hi there, I'm Bobby T, and I'm doing a very rare actual hardware review because I thought that it would be really helpful for movie watchers to be able to go through some of the options that might be available to you for virtual viewing of movies uh, on your own eyes rather than on a 55 or 65 inch or even bigger uh, HD TV. So these are some of the options that are available to you that I own. And this is not uh, any type of a sponsored video. This is all mine. But there were a lot of questions concerning the Royal Moon in particular. And that was the one that I really wanted to cover some of the options on that versus the standard virtual realities that are out there, the standalone virtual realities that are out there currently. So uh, without further ado, this is more of a... Uh, answer questions about the Royal Moon rather than an actual review of the the headset itself but I wanted to give you some of those options and my personal opinion about that about the moon after owning it for two years now so as far as the moon what it is is it's called the Royal R O Y O L E moon 3d virtual mobile theater this is the box that it comes in uh, it is very expensive originally when it came out it was eight hundred dollars uh, US when it came out and that was about four years ago, 2017-ish, 2016, 2017 ish and I'm filming this in 2021. So uh, it came out at $800 there. Today, I went online, and on the B&H B &H website, I saw that it was selling for about $500 uh, currently U.S., and just as an FYI, I found a brand new uh, unopened box on eBay about two years ago for $275 which I snapped up in a heartbeat, and I do know that there are deals like that out there. However, make sure that you buy a new model and not used. Electronics on eBay or anywhere else that isn't brand new, you should always be really wary of. So just want to make sure you uh, know that there are options out there, but this is definitely a luxury item. This is not something that you would do like a virtual reality or even uh, replace your television in, in general. But this is something that for travelers, for uh, uh, for vacationers, any other people that just want to sit down and, and relax with a uh, just with a single movie on their face that they're uh, that's easily accessible, that's in a huge screen, this is a great great option. So what it says is there, it's an 800 inch giant curved screen, which it really does look like that on your on your vision when you're looking in there. Almost too big, it slightly uh, comes off your uh, out of your eyesight in the corners uh, if you don't catch it just right. Um, it has 22 decibel um, top quality active noise canceling headphones, which they are on board, versus the virtual realities, which uh, these are two, an Oculus Go and an Oculus Quest 2, which have wonderful uh, built-in uh, headphones, but everybody around you is going to hear exactly what you're going to be saying. So the fact that these are actual headphones with ear cups uh, makes it very private, and you can uh, and you can turn it up as loud as you want, which is wonderful, uh, and the sound is excellent. It's I don't know if the difference is I'm not a, an audiophile, but a 5.1 sound surround sound is probably going to be similar to I'd imagine without obviously the the big booms from the bass and so on. But these are excellent, uh, excellent feel, a uh, very soft cup uh, like. So if, when they fit over your ears, they are very very comfortable. But um, the the dual F uh, sorry the AM OLED uh, displays on your uh, on your Royal um, is actually way better quality than you have find in both the 720p uh, Oculus Go and the 1080p Oculus Quest 2. Even though those are are great for virtual reality, which is wonderful, I do tend to notice a little bit of pixelation even on the the virtual reality headsets when I'm watching movies on Skybox or Pegasus apps that come that you would purchase with these. But the this does not have an app. This is just a, you turn it on and it's ready to roll. And those uh, AM OLED. Uh, uh, lenses are really amazing just clear 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 when you're trying to look at these so I have to say that as far as the display is concerned the uh, the Royal Moon kicks virtual realities butt every single time I don't care what anybody says about any of the other types the vibes and so on I've never been on them for very long I can just say from a pixelization viewpoint for somebody who does watch movies a lot I'd rather watch this any day of the week unless I go with a 4K TV and I'm sitting right smack in front of it. So the, the moon is superior in every way on a display standpoint. 
Um, it, it does do 3D, and what it is is actually there's a button on the bottom, and it's a 2D, 3D button. It, if you're watching it, if you're hooked up to an actual Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray player, it should automatically just kick in as a 3D uh, that you're just viewing it. But if you're not, you could, would actually just push the button, and it, it goes back to 2D and 3D within literally a push of a button. So it actually works extremely well that way. But you do definitely have to have a 3D Blu-ray player in order to be hardwired into this, and it does come hard, or you would have a, it does come with a converter, but it just goes into a micro HDMI uh, uh, connection into your box for your moon. So you just plug this in, run a wire straight into your Blu-ray, and you're just running your your native 3D file off of your Blu-ray player, and it works amazingly well. Now I have run 3Ds on both of the uh, the Go and the Oculus 2, or, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Quest 2, and the quality is extremely good and it is wonderful to watch in, in Skybox in a 3D movie. It's really fun. But I have to say, the, the, if I'm tipping the scale, it's going to the moon as far as what I would prefer as far as the quality of it on my face. So I really do enjoy the moon with the 3D experience. Um, it does have a foldable design, so it actually can fold right up in, put right into your, your uh, I have a case, it looks like a hat box, and that actually goes with it, so it's that very easy to move, and then you can adjust it however, whatever size head you have, it works really well, both uh, front and back, um, so, and you adjust it back to the, to the back of your head as well as uh, up closer if you want it to go that direction. Um, and then as far as the, uh, the box itself, the box here is your uh, your actual power button. You just turn it on, um, just hold it for a couple seconds, and it comes right on. And then everything is literally one touch on your on your right ear cup. So as you're you it's you learn to double touch, uh, you learn to um, slide, you learn how to your your. Uh, sound is on the outside of the cup itself so everything is done on that right side and very quickly you learn how to use it uh, so it's not a hard uh, hard movement uh, and once you learn how it's it becomes second nature to you and people have had concerns about Netflix and other apps like that like I had said before with the the plug-in on the the micro HDMI if you plug this into your blu-ray player your blu-ray is actually going to be become your TV your TV is going to be on your face so as long as you have the remote control in for the blu-ray you can maneuver through that you can access using your uh, the using the the keyboard that is on the that you would use on your blu-ray because the keyboard on the moon is difficult I would not use this uh, to if I'm trying to get on a Netflix I would go through straight through my um, through my Blu-ray and watch a movie that way. It's exactly the same thing. It's just an extra step or two. Not a big deal. But it's something that you definitely would want to be aware of. There is an app for your phone uh, for the moon, but I have never really used it, to be honest with you. But it is available to you if you want to maneuver around on it and see if you really like it. I just do everything first person with this on my ears, and I'm, and I'm perfectly happy. Um, as far as the, the people that have talked about the 3D side-by-side -side, uh, files, because you do have to have the 3D Blu-ray player to watch a 3D movie. Now, if you have access to an online side-by-side SBS uh, type of file, and you try to load that onto your, um, your Oculus Quest 2, for example, that will work very well as a, an SBS file, because virtual reality is built for those side-by-side uh, type of files. The the moon does not work that way. Unfortunately, the side by side is literally going to look like you've got two screens side by side in the moon. So it does not work where you would side load that onto the 32 gigabyte onboard uh, the hard drive on the moon. So um, just keep that in mind if you're going to be doing it. You either have the disc or you don't watch 3D on your moon. Um, so just just an FYI on that. Um, as far as the uh, prescription lenses, this is where I'm really wanting to, to cover some base with you because there's been so many questions online about the, the moon and whether you wear prescription glasses or not. And I wear, actually have three separate uh, 
visions. I, I need glasses for close up, for computer, and for distance. And these happen to be for my computer, they're bifocals uh, for my computer as well as my up close for reading. And I have to say, putting these on and put it, they do not work in the moon. Unfortunately, the way the moon works, if you can see this, and, and if you go on other uh, review sites, you can see this is a black feeling when you're in there. When you're in there, your face is literally covered up. You cannot see anything around you. It's completely isolating. So you can get robbed if that gives you any perspective. So if you're on an airplane, you're not going to know what's going on around you whatsoever. You can't hear it. You can't see it. It's literally isolating you. Also, virtual reality, it just isn't as the same experience as far as comfort is concerned if I'm laying in my bed late at night wanting to watch a movie and not wake anybody else up in the room. So it's very much a, a different feel than the virtual reality world. So again, I have to say that my moon is, this is a luxury item. It is not cheap. It is something that if you want one, you're going to have to pay for it. But the thing is, is once you've had it, I got to say, this is my this is my baby. I mean, I love I, and I play my Oculus, my Quest all the time. My Go is obsolete now. You can buy them for a hundred bucks new, they, but you can't replace them uh, anymore. The apps are basically useless uh, at this point. Facebook has dropped them. But the Quest 2, which is wonderful, I love the apps, love to play it, and it's fun. Um, but it is for apps to me. Watching a movie, which I am a movie person, and you're going to see on my channel that I'm going to be reviewing a whole ton of movies, the majority of them I'm going to be watching on my moon. And it is an experience that I, cannot ex I, I can't explain on a video on YouTube. But what I can do is I can tell you that it is worth it to me as a movie file. I love to watch it as big as I can get it like it was in a movie theater when I watched it as a kid. Uh, it's just an experience that I can't uh, tell you, uh, it, I can't rate high enough for you. So if you have the ability, the extra money, you are okay with isolating yourself completely, you're okay with the, the problems that this does have because every piece of hardware is going to have some problems. I've hopefully answered almost all of those questions. If you have more questions, please let me know. I'm happy to reply to you via email, or excuse me, via YouTube um, on, in the comment section below. Uh, just leave a comment and I'll be happy to return it. So any other questions, please leave a comment. You're welcome to subscribe to me. You're going to get movie reviews in the future. No more hardware reviews. It's just not in my thing. Uh, there are lots of better people that are, are good at that than I am. But I just want to at least give you this information and hopefully it will help your day. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and I hope you do something nice for somebody down the road.